Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Matthew Clark and today I'll be your host talking about Dr. Edward Tufte, footnotes in Obsidian and how we can turn Obsidian footnotes into Dr. Edward Tufte's side notes using TFT Hacker's fantastic work. For those of you familiar with com turning complex data into visual insights, the father of modern data visualization, Dr. Edward Tufte found that footnotes didn't quite meet the brief. And so he posited that if you move the footnotes into the margin as opposed to the base of the page, you would find information more relevant when they were next to the text that they were referring to. This enabled you to have further reading when you're diving into it. And so how does that apply to Obsidian? Well, Obsidian has a helpful feature where you can do footnotes at the bottom of the page or in line with your text. When you go to preview mode, it actually demonstrates it by shifting that footnote to the base of the page. This is where TFT Hackers Cornell Learning Vault comes into play again. With a couple of tools, TFT Hackers Vault allows us to use our footnotes in the margin as well as Cornell notes as we're going along. The caveat being that you have to be a little careful of overlap. Okay, so let's see how to do footnotes in Obsidian. As you can see here, point one and point two are both listed behind here, but what you don't see is that they're actually done in two different ways. If we go edit, you can see that footnote number two is written in line by using the caret symbol and two square brackets, and number one is just referencing the fact there, and then at the bottom, I'm actually adding information in here to, to prove that it's there. It's pretty simple to do. To do the first style, you simply write the items that you want to do. You give it a square bracket, you give it a carrot, and then you use a number in sequence. You can use a, uh, a word as well. And then you come down to the bottom, put your same bracket down there, put the same number to reference it, then put a colon after it and go, this is the third footnote. And we go back to reader view, you can see that it automatically puts number two in between. And the second method to do this is to simply type it in line. And you do this by doing the caret first, doing the square brackets. You go, this is my fourth footnote. And when we go to reading view, you can see that it's automatically put it there. And so what TFT Hacker has done is he's created a CSS file and a template file together that in concert create the same footnote or use the same footnote structure, create a side note, which effectively moves these footnote next to where they are referenced, just like this. And so it's a combination of three things here. It's a CSS file, which you can get by purchasing the TFT Hackers Cornell Vault. It's the Obsidian front matter or now properties of CSS classes that calls the Tuft side note and the Cornell column to the left or right. And it's a template startup file. And so the process is fairly simple. You simply find your Cornell Learning Vault when you've downloaded it. You navigate into Files, into Tuft Side Notes, and then follow the introduction, which tells you exactly what's going on, and then advises you how to install it, and then teaches you how to use it all inside the Cornell Learning Vault there. But effectively, you'll go into the Appearance tab, down to the bottom, you'll click on the folder here, you'll drop the CSS file from the Cornell Learning Vault in here, you'll activate the Tuft Side Notes CSS file, after clicking the reload button, you'll go to the community plugins, you'll browse, you'll look for templater. And inside that Cornell Learning Vault, there is a templater tough side notes file to grab and copy into your templates folder. And this uses this exact same templates folder that you've got specified up here and allows you to do cool things like this using exactly the same format. And as you can see, our number three, is over on the side here when you click it. Hopefully it also keeps it in the footer, which lets you find it after you're done reading with it. But the beauty of it is that all of your notes will appear to the right, which means that as you're reading a reference, you can find the reference or footnote link on the right. So it's easy to corroborate what you're reading at the same time as, uh, as it comes up. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this tutorial provided you with some valuable insights in the world of data visualization. Until next time.